So this is weekly analysis for Forex November 20. So starting with the daily, last week we can see that we finished the monthly fair value gap here, both on the DXY and the Euro. Now we've also for the uh, for the dollar, like I highlighted last week in the outlook, I want to see this as an inversion, as a resistance. Okay, that's what we saw. It never breached that. There was no body closing outside. We respected that perfectly, and then of course we went down to our discount objectives here. These two fair value gap bases. Now this week, again we're in November. December is approaching, you know, holiday season. Do not expect big moves. Don't even expect extreme accuracy, okay? Just, you know, general areas in price where you just see a raid. Therefore, keeping your take profit sizes low as well. And not holding it for too long, okay? Taking 80% off throughout the holiday season and the first partial is important, okay? It's not likely to move out a lot and do its big moves. <clears throat> last quarter and wartime events as well now this is your hard, uh, obviously buy side target near nearby buy side target i'm also liking the fact as soon as we opened up for monday um we rated the highs instead of rating any kind of sell side so that's also a good sign and uh, should we rate the previous monthly high like this then my expectation going into the week will be bearish sell side targets mostly but not straight away i will still need to see market structure shift occur now the fomc minutes that's coming out tomorrow evening will be key in determining the weekly direction okay and uh, also i advise not to trade before ahead of that because it's going to be just a chop basically it's going to be a mess it's going to be deliberately creating liquidity for the fomc event to then cannibalize once the event you know comes out as a news at seven tomorrow so be careful of that but so far what some resistance you know as price makes its way to the low here watch it watch these to like slow it down kind of Oh, we're, all, we're almost seeing that here actually price bouncing off this consequential encroachment of the weekly wick here but yeah the expectation is we can go here okay so this is 4x so far and i think if you slow down here and should we reverse not that i'm trying to pick a top or bottom here but should we do so then i would expect um, this small fair rally gap here on the daily on both of these and if we get animated then of course the big sibi or the bissy which the you know cpi created that will probably get attacked so that's the forex expectation also watch this on this one okay if price is held up here then it's extremely bullish if not if it breaks below it a body is laid then of course it's not as you know bullish so it's another thing to observe again with indices given that we're in the last quarter of a season that it doesn't really tend to see big moves unless this wartime event like we have right now you know, my expectations are not as high again for big moves. Although I do like the premium target, previous monthly high here. Keep an eye on the volume imbalance above that as well. Um, also, the large BC and 930 org opening range gap as well will be key. And I'm just going to leave our fair value gap our old fair value gap here with those four levels because they're still key going into this week depending on the time of day we can be you know forming a narrative based on these levels 
you know, for example, if I'm looking at a raid lower, that would probably look at one of these guys to act as an inversion point as a resistance for me to get short. Or if I'm expecting a raid of this high, for example, then depending on time of the day, I'd be expecting these levels to act as a support if we're, you know, bullish. We already got up to the wick here, 50, 25%. I want to see if we can now get up to the next level, 50%, and maybe take out the previous weekly high, and then follow up by going higher to the previous weekly high, so, you know, wick high, and then maybe here. <coughs> okay. Again, this is just higher time frame. You know, lower time frames is just a completely different story when it opens. I'm only looking for five handles. Now this is NAS. My key interest will actually be in um, E-mini, okay? Because E-mini moves a little bit less than NAS. So I'm kind of sticking with that now. I find it easier to read as well. It's like Euro and it's, it's like the difference between Euro and Pound. One is, Euro is a lot back, uh, like easy to read in terms of price action, okay? Now, I think this one's actually more interesting than the NAS. The reason for that, well, the biggest reason for that is it's in a dealing range, okay? High to low, so that kind of helps because we know where the equilibrium is. But just generally to share the higher time frame expectations that I have, I probably want to say here, you have the consequential encroachment. Again, we have to see this is just preliminary analysis. We still need to see how it opens up, which levels it goes to first and all that business. So consequential encroachment of the week pick is here. That's key area. Obviously the previous monthly high. That's again the key focus I think this week as well. The bullish targets with the dollars continued risk on sentiment and obviously the weekly high as well don't forget that this is this past week's weekly high and then if i go lower then you still have your large busy here with your 930 org you have your dealing range low as well which is acting as equal lows so that's got a lot of liquidity also got relatively equal highs here the previous weekly high again so a lot of liquidity so how do I know which side is going to rate first? Simple, you just wait and see. You know, you just wait for time. Note all your price levels, like I have done here. And then just wait for time to do its dance with price, basically. And then just look at the raid where it's heading to, and just obviously manage your risk and take part in that. Easy. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so that's what I'm expecting for this. We're in a dealing range, 50%. This is going to be key going into pretty much all the sessions unless we were to break out here, lower or higher on, of this dealing range. This will act as key. This will tell you if it's a premium or a discount with, with time of day, opening prices, and in relation to the PD arrays that are in this price action. So those are all the other factors you still got to consider, okay? It's not just this. Now we might just get rid of this, 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 this. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here so we know what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think even in this price action, from what ICT has taught me, we should still be able to pick out some higher probability trades. Thank you.